Okay, so I debated whether or not I was gonna actually film this, but I thought maybe I would just show you guys what I did with one of these. Like, I'll go ahead and take this one down because I don't like the way the twist looks. So, um, I don't know about y'all, but uh, a lot of times I have such a difficult time with making these twist and then put the little rods at the end, you know? So I thought maybe I would give it a shot again. So I just, I'm just spraying a little bit of aloe and water and I'm going to twist inward. When I was looking at other folk do it. So, you know, I'm twisting and I'm twisting and I'm twisting, right? So I get to the end and it says, you know, take your rod and then, you know, wrap the hair around the rod and, you know, wrap it good. So I'm gonna spray this a little bit just so I don't adhere really well. So I'm wrapping and wrapping. And then, you know, I just twist it up a little bit and then boom, okay? And it seems like every time I would do that, it would come out really weird and stringy. So, it just popped into my head that maybe what I should be doing is Twisting and then when I come to the end of what I'm going to actually put on the roller, I'm going to let my hair go, okay? Like I was normally twisting it, all right? That's better. All right, so I let it go. So then I'm going to take my little spray bottle and spray that in that is not twisted so I let it go I don't have any tension on the twist I just let it go spray the end and then come in with my little rod and then twist that end around the rod and just twist up just a little bit I mean I'm not twisting the whole length of the hair I just want the ends And that's all I have is just the ends of my hair on the rod. The length of the twist is still intact. It doesn't look funky. It's not all, you know, just weird. Now, obviously with my hair, this has been stretched out. When it draws up, it's gonna look something like this one over here, but still, it's just the end that's in that twist. Just like all the rest of these. But I'll go ahead and do this one to see. Okay. Let it go. That's a good twist. I'm just spraying the ends of it. <clears throat> making sure that they are nice and wrapped around. And I'm just gonna roll up just a little bit and clip it. And that's it. So in a few, we're gonna go, I'm gonna take this down and see <laughs> what we got. <laughs> see you later. Okay guys, so face is done. <laughs> And we're gonna get started on this hair. <laughs> it 
you know, scratching my scalp these days is about the only thing that I've been doing with this pick. But you know what? For this right here, I thought I'd just kind of have her on deck. We'll see what happens. So, just stick her over there. I'm using the Melanin uh, Multi-Purpose Oil Blend or Multi-Use Oil Blend to take these things out. No, I don't really have a definitive part. I just kind of separated it. We're just gonna see what happens today, okay? Um, so let's see what we got going on. I'm just gonna stick those right there. And this morning, I well, I showed you guys a little clip from this morning on how I did these. I'd always been having an issue with trying to get the ends to just kind of curl. And uh, it finally clicked. You know, maybe I'm just the only one who never really <clears throat> thought of that. But you know, I've all only all I've always only wanted the very ends of these twists to curl up and not, you know, the entire twist. So I think we have them all out. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw on a shirt or something and I'll come back and let you guys see the final look. Okay, there's our final look. All right, so um, <laughs> I've been missing as of lately my pick, but I know that I need to leave it alone, but I'm just going to gingerly go in and lift just a little bit. Okay, I'm not gonna do any more. Cause y'all get the general idea of the hair. But anyhow, um, yeah, so that little method, I like it because uh, the ends have these little, they, they make it look like little ringlets. Um, I'll probably try that, you know, moving forward. My lip, is a this is mac um don't even get me to lion what i'll do is i'll leave the um information in the bottom in the description box so you guys will know what this is but it's a um liquid uh liquid lipstick um and it's a matte finish and I just thought I would pop that on since I had little red in my blouse here. 
is courtesy of she in <laughs> not she inside but she in and um i thought it was a little cute little top with a little scoop out that's really kind of cute it has a little puff sleeves kind of reminds me of the 80s you know when we had the puff sleeves back do a little spin on our wine segment um i don't have really anything new um you know because i got a couple bottles of the white so i have um let me just get in and show you these box we have that and i'm gonna do like a spin on uh like a wine spritzer okay but we're gonna use fresca so i've got some crushed ice here i'm just gonna put a little bit of that all over the floor <laughs> And in my glass <laughs> but mainly in the floor on the floor and then we're gonna add oh I'm gonna say probably about a half a cup of wine and about a fourth of a cup of my fresco very nice wine spritzer kind of change it up a little bit so yeah that's good i like that so but anyhow i wanted to say thank you guys so much for your comments and um your excitement over the before the gray and after um i really didn't know how the segment was going to um how it was gonna work. I didn't know if anyone would actually send me photographs. And I was just so excited when I received participation from you guys. So that was awesome. And um, honestly, to tell you the truth, I was just thinking that, you know, the final episode was gonna be it, really honestly. Um, I'd gone through all of the photographs that, you know, you guys had submitted. So I really didn't have anything else to present. So when I did the finale, um, I had people saying, you know, well, we don't want you to stop with it. So I'm thinking, oh my gosh, well, I don't have any, you know, other ladies to present. So, um, I guess, so today I'm saying, you know, if you guys want me to continue, um, please submit your photographs so we can keep this segment going because it's getting such positive feedback and um, I think it really is helping a lot of women who are possibly on the fence um, who just really don't know if they want to go gray or if they want to color and seeing you guys <laughs> not just me but seeing you guys and the transformations that are taking place you know women are really starting to be more confident and are wanting to just take that next step so send me those photos you can send them to uh, jjmuaartistry at gmail.com um, you can send them to my instagram which my instagram is at jjmua um, you can even send me photos at um, on Facebook and I'm JJ MUA artistry on Facebook. So, you know, feel free to send me your photos. Um, I think we'll probably start the segment back up in April. Um, so that'll give you guys ample time to, you know, if it's just you need to find a before picture or before you went gray. Um, It'll give you some time to kind of hunt those pictures down take a couple photos of yourself now you know kind of pick and choose which ones you want to present um, and also for you guys that are actually just starting your journey if you want to send me photos of you just starting your journey that's great because it would give other women an idea of what it's going to be like in the very beginning which i think is is you know that's great because a lot of people just don't know what to expect thank you guys so much for your comments and i really think that 
it um, has just really made uh, the women that participated just give them that much more confidence and, um, and influence a lot of women that, um, like I said, were on the fence and now have the confidence to, you know, to, to just ditch the die and uh, come over to the gray side. <laughs> but anyhow, thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you the next time.